Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. In today's quick video, we're going to be taking this Groove page and replacing this email opt-in form that you see here with a pop-up. And to do that, we're going to log into GrooveFunnels, of course. Link in the description for your free account to follow along. If you don't already have one, we'll pop into Groove Pages. All your sites will come up. Of course, this site has already been created. So what we're going to do is just edit this site. You'll see the page right there that we created. In the other video card up here in the right hand corner where we created this squeeze page, you can check that out to see exactly how we did that. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this email opt-in form or this form container as it is called inside of Groove Pages. Check the breadcrumbs, body block container, layout two by two container, form container. We're going to replace that with a pop-up that will have the embedded email form. And to do that, we're simply going to go to pages and we're going to clone this page. So that page stays intact and we're just going to work with the copy of that page right there that you can see. And what we're going to do with that, simply just delete this form container right here. Go ahead and confirm that. And then now what we'll do is we'll grab a button. So we'll scroll down until we find a button right here and we'll drag this button over and we'll drop that button in right there. It'll come back. Then we need to edit this button to make it look more like the other button that we saw on the first page we created. To do that, we'll go back to the page and we'll simply just get the color. I'm using a Chrome extension called Color Picker. Pick color from page. Simply just hover over that. It'll grab that color and copy the hex code into the buffer. And then what we'll do is we'll just use that to change the color right here of the button. Under design, you can see right here, go to background, come down, click here, it'll open up the color, go ahead, make sure you check the select button right there, go ahead and close that, Put that up right there, go back into configure, here what we'll do is we will say enroll now for free, and we'll go ahead and link that to a pop-up. Of course, we don't have a pop-up created yet, so we'll go ahead and we will update this. Back to none, we'll update that, so we'll have that text, and then we'll go create the pop-up, and then we'll link this button. Of course, under design, you can play here with the layout, the size, and the spacing, with the width right here, or you can just use the drag right here, and then you can just slide this over by moving it like that with the drag handles. Now do take note, there are some issues with the drag handles. There have been some bugs. Of course, this is in beta, you can report bugs. You can see the bugs down here at this link. Groove Funnels is currently in beta. I know the bug that it applies to this is about the text elements. For some reason, it messes up the CSS. So make sure you take note of that. But what we're gonna do now is go ahead that we have that space where we want. We're gonna go back into configure and we're gonna configure this pop-up that we need right here to show up under pop-up name. Before we do that, we'll go ahead and we'll save the changes we've made. And then we'll simply come down to pop-ups. Here, we're gonna create a new pop-up. And we're just gonna go right here and we're gonna select a pop-up that we wanna use. You can see all the templates. The template that we want is something simple. And the template that we're gonna choose is this one right here. Once you choose that template, it's exactly like editing just in the other editor. You just simply click on the elements and then that element opens up to include the element right here, which is the input form. And you configure that right here for your email placeholder. Of course, you can delete that if you like. Go ahead and confirm. And then you can come over to elements and you could scroll down and you could drag in one of the forms and create a new form, input form, which you're gonna have to do to integrate it with your autoresponder. Or you can simply just come down and select one of the integrations. In this example, I have Aweber integrated, so we'll just drag that in right there. And you can see it simply just drops it in. Go ahead and close that. And then you can see that you can get rid of this button right here now as well. Simply just delete that. And now you have your container right there, ready to configure for integration that you see right there. And of course, your design can be changed. All the elements can be designed right here. But for now, we'll just go ahead and leave that as it is, and we will save this. 
by clicking Save and Exit. Now when we come back to our page, we're gonna come down, we're gonna click this button, we're gonna go under Configure, we're going to configure our new pop-up, pop-up one, we're gonna update that right there. Then we are going to publish this page. That will save and publish. Of course, this page is published at glb.groupages.com subdomain. YouTube share is the subfolder. Of course, this site has been shared with you. Link in the description. You can simply click on that and this site will load up in your free or your paid account and you'll have these templates to play with. But right now we're focused again on this button. Go back here, click on the button. And again, the pop-up has been configured. It is now published. Now what we want to do is we want to go to index hyphen copy to see this page right here that we just created. So we'll go back to the page that we had recently built and we'll type in the URL, glbgroupages.com, YouTube share index hyphen copy. A page will load and you can see right there now that we have our button enroll now for free. Simply click on that button and now you have your pop-up and you're ready to go. Again, link in the description. Grab your free account of Groove Pages, follow along. Also the link for this shared site so you can grab this, edit it as you need. And if this video is helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer right here. Click on the timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Just like the videos you see right here, click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.